Hello everyone, welcome back to ROG GrowTech. Uh, this is a branch off channel from my main channel, my grow channel, Rose of Green. Um, if you haven't seen that channel, down in the description you'll find a link. Go check it out. Uh, I do a bunch of growing on there. Um, around uh, 37,000 subscribers. So uh, go join the rest of the people over there and watch some of my videos. Uh, today's video is going to be on the new AC Infinity pole mount fan. I'm just going to start here by showing you the boxing uh, clip-on fan. It's a 6-inch. We all know that somebody needed to come out with a pole fan uh, after what was happening with uh, another company's uh, fans that were catching fire and whatnot. So the industry uh, really needed this for people who grew on grow tents and uh, whatnot. So anyway, we got some nice boxing here. Uh, yes, it is an oscillating fan. So we will just open it up here. And here we got, uh, it's just the user manual. And uh, it just goes through, tells you about the fan and uh, everything you need to know. Uh, it comes packed fairly well. Some foam here. Uh, we have uh, the fan itself. And uh, we have the clip. That's what clips onto your post. And then we have uh, we have uh, it's uh, an extension cable which plugs into your uh, controller 67 or your uh, Wi-Fi controller that AC Infinity just put out. And uh, that is it. That's all that's in the box. So what we will do here is we will now put it together. Uh, when you take this apart, it doesn't matter which side you put it back onto. It usually goes by what you prefer. But uh, when you're putting this part on, just remember you got to put it on this way because that's how it's going to go. So don't get confused and put it that way. <laughs> you, you'll find out fairly quick if you did it wrong anyway. So. down there we go and you just make sure that your holes lined up uh, fairly well then you got little slots there that you want to line up here And then you just continue to screw that on like that. I don't quite have that on correctly, so I'm just going to readjust. I apologize. I'm making this look more difficult than it actually is. It's not, uh, this is not difficult at all. I'm just uh, a dummy. There we go and then it uh, goes up and down and then you could tighten this right up so that it won't move at all so now that we got that put together I'll show you what comes in here and uh, this here is your power cord uh, it plugs into the back of the fan you pull this out here and it plugs in there and then uh, what you do is you plug it into uh, this corded adapter here and then that will plug into your controller uh, your controller 67 or whichever controller you have and then you could operate it from that or your Bluetooth and uh, other cool things so uh, you could run it like that or you could run it how uh, I'll probably run it. I will run it so that uh, it comes on at a certain uh, temperature. So that will be more or less. I'll just set it to come on at around like uh, 25 degrees Celsius or something. And then that's daytime anyway. So that's just something that I would do. 
so that it's coming on at the daytime. Uh, you can, there is a scheduler, so you can schedule them as well. Uh, then it just comes with a couple of these extra things, and uh, if you know what these are, these are just for tying up cords, getting them out of the way. Uh, it comes with one of these as well. Uh, that's something that you like stick to the wall, and then you stick this zip tie through, and then uh, you put your cord through it just to keep things nice and tidy. But uh, that's it. Let me mount this up now, and uh, we'll go through the stages of how it works. So I'm just going to go here and just show you our speeds that we have. So you have uh, 1 to 10. So it's actually a really, a really nice fan that we have, because if you just need it nice and low, just to blow some humidity around or something, uh, it, it's excellent for that. But uh, then we crank it up like that. And you can see the lights light up as we go. And the thing with this thing is they shut off automatically so that you're not putting light into your grow tent. See that? How it shows they shut off after like 10 seconds. So that's uh, awesome. But what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna just pull mount that. And yes, it's kind of strange, but I gotta pull mount it to my press because I don't have uh, another pole around. Just move it up here and then I will show you uh, we'll crank it right up and I will tell you this thing has got some power so that's on 10 it's not real real loud but like it's got some uh, power to it and then uh, here's the oscillation Uh, you can see it does not slow down and speed up as it uh, oscillates like many of the other cheaper fans do. Uh, that's putting a lot of pressure on the motor when they do that and that I think had something to do with why they were catching fire. That and uh, bad wiring. But uh, we have this here. This saves the day. So I'm just going to stop it here. I'm going to turn it down. So there we go, it's turned down. And then another way, another thing that you could do is to turn it completely off. You just hold this for four seconds. And that turns the whole system off. And then it's not in play with uh, anything, with your controllers or anything. And then to get it going again, you just simply click the button. There we go. So. Uh, compared to my other fans, I will probably run this on like the 5 setting or 6 setting because it's really got some really good power to it. Uh, my little Blizzard fan, uh, this has more wind power than it at uh, full power, so just to let you know about that. Uh, I'm just trying to cover any questions that you guys might have about this fan. So uh, on the back, you can see here, this is uh, shortened so that... It's not hitting your your uh, sides of your tent wall or anything. Uh, it's got IP44 uh, waterproofing. Uh, it's more or less water resistant, so that will just help you against um, high humidity because we run high humidity in our tents and uh, veg and whatnot. Uh, I know that uh, the bearings, it's got a really good bearing system in it. I was reading up on that. Uh, they're good for up to 67,000 hours. So that's like over uh, seven and a half years. Overall, it's a very nice fan. There's not even a need to be pulling off this front cover because of the airflow coming through here. But anyway, that is the review of the Cloudray S6 by AC Infinity Oscillating Pole Mount Fan. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.